Maritime forces from Australia, Japan, India, and the United States began Phase 1 of Cooperative Maritime Exercise Malabar 2021 in the Philippine Sea on August 26th. Malabar Exercise is an annual maritime exercise that enhances planning, training, and employment of advanced warfare tactics between the Royal Australian Navy RAN, Indian Navy IN, Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces JMSDF, and the US Navy. This is one of the biggest naval exercises in the world and has reached special significance due to China's actions in recent times. All the participants are members of QUAD or Quadrilateral Security Dialogue. In this video, Defense Updates reports on why Australia, India, Japan and the US Joint Naval Exercise Malabar 2021 is significant. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Quadrilateral Security Dialogue QSD, also known as the Quad, is an informal strategic forum between the United States, Japan, Australia, and India that's maintained by semi-regular summits, information exchanges, and military drills between member countries. The dialogue was initiated in 2007 by the then Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, with the support of the then Vice President of the USA, Dick Cheney, the then Prime Minister of Australia, John Howard, and the then Prime Minister of India, Manmohan Singh. The dialogue is paralleled by joint military exercises of an unprecedented scale titled Exercise Malabar. In a 2021 joint statement, the spirit of the Quad, Quad members described a shared vision for a free and open Indo-Pacific and a rules-based maritime order in the East and South China Seas, which Quad members state are needed to counter Chinese maritime claims. The four Quad members have played a major role in purposefully redefining the Asia-Pacific as the Indo-Pacific, to deepen trans-regional ties between the Indian and Pacific Ocean areas, and to, in their words, deal more effectively with the rise of China, the Middle East, and Africa. The Malabar exercise began between the Indian Navy and the US Navy in 1992. It was then a bilateral naval drill in the Indian Ocean. Australia and Japan became partners later on. But while Australia moved away due to Chinese sensitivity, Japan became a permanent member of the exercise in 2015. Last year, Australia participated in the Malabar Naval Exercise after 13 years. This marked a significant shift. India had been hesitant in bringing Australia aboard for the past several years as it did not want to push the Quad aggressively as it hoped for deeper ties with China. But things changed since last year when in June 2020, the PLA and Indian Army clashed in Ladakh's Galwan Valley and Australia faced China's ire for asking for thorough investigation on COVID origin. The alliance has now reached a stronger consensus when it comes to dealing with China. This year's exercise is hosted by the U.S. Navy and will take part in two phases. The first phase will see the four Indo-Pacific navies operating together in the Philippine Sea to sharpen their skills in combined maritime operations. The drill will include anti-submarine warfare operations, air warfare operations, 
live fire gunnery events, replenishments at sea, cross deck flight operations, and maritime interdiction operations. U.S. is sending Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer USS Barry DDG 52, Naval Special Warfare Forces, Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Aircraft from Task Force 72, and Military Sea Lift Commands MSC, Henry J. Kaiser class underway replenishment oiler USNS Rappahannock TAO 204. Representing the Indian Navy, is Shivalik class multi role stealth frigate INS Shivalik F 47 and Kamorta class anti submarine warfare corvette INS Kadmat P 29. JMSDF is sending Izumo class multi purpose operation destroyer JS Kaga DDH 184, Murasame class destroyers JS Murasame DD 101 and JS Shiranui DD120 representing Australia is Anzac class frigate HMAS Waramanga FFH152 maritime patrol and reconnaissance aircraft are scheduled to include an INP8 JMSDFP1 and US P8A China has maintained very high economic growth over the last two decades and has become a major economic power. It has spent heavily on military buildup and modernized its military forces. A large part of this fund has been deployed to expand its People's Liberation Army Navy or PLAN. PLAN has gone from a green water navy capable of operating only in regional seas relatively close to home to a full-fledged blue water fleet operating as far as the Indian Ocean and Baltic Sea. In a recent report submitted to Congress annually, the Pentagon has stated, the PRC has the largest navy in the world with an overall battle force of approximately 350 ships and submarines including over 130 major surface combatants. In comparison, the U.S. Navy's battle force is approximately 293 ships as of early 2020. Speaking at a press conference, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for China Chad Spragia said that China was on course to expand its fleet to 360 vessels by the end of 2020. The PLAN is being used as a tool by the Chinese Communist regime to push its expansionist policies. Malabar exercise aims to strengthen the integration between the four nations and is being seen as a crucial counter to China. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.